We've watched her act, sing, and appear on magazines. She took a hiatus for almost more than a year, and yet we still clamor for her the second she's back on the scene. Generations of Filipinos have gotten to know the actress through different lenses. Some know her as a staple in noontime show hosting, and others as their newest inspiration for being a stylish mom. Whether it's on screen or on print, Anne undeniably has an allure to her that just keeps us wanting more. In this edition of the Preview 10, we peel through the layers of Anne Curtis and get to know her better in more ways than one. Number 10. She's been in showbiz for 24 years. Being in the biz for more than two decades, Anne has always been turning heads. Did you know that she was just eating at a fast food restaurant when she was tapped by a talent scout to try out for a kid's beauty pageant? Her mom was always supportive of her, working part-time as her manager and financial advisor until she was 18. Young Anne was handed different projects in advertising until she landed the role of Princess Dahlia in the 1997 hit movie Magic Kingdom. In case you're wondering, that character is actually who her daughter gets her name from. Number 9. She's a UNICEF ambassador and founder of her own charity, Dream Machine. Anne's beauty definitely shines from within. A UNICEF Goodwill ambassador since 2015, the 36-year-old established the Dream Machine charity in hopes of helping other people achieve their aspirations. For four years now, the project has anchored itself on empowering different people to achieve their goals, no matter how big or small they are. Recently, she's also spoken about the importance of breastfeeding on behalf of UNICEF, sharing her experiences as a new mommy. Number 8. She's been on Preview's cover 10 times. Now, of course we love Anne just as much as you do. The star has been gracing our cover since 2008, and we've seen her in a bevy of looks only she could pull off. Pink hair? Check. Pixie cut? Check. Actually covering her face yet still being completely recognizable? Check. She's undoubtedly one of our favorite cover girls, and we're certain we haven't seen the last of her. Number 7. She's a fitness buff. In Anne's line of work, staying fit is a top priority. Luckily for her, this is something she enjoys doing. Would you believe that she ran 42 kilometers in 2018 during the London Marathon? This feat of hers is even more awe-inspiring since she did it in behalf of UNICEF Philippines with her singlet proudly saying for the Filipino youth at the back. Besides grand events like this, Anne loves working out at home or whenever she can, even squeezing in workout routines when she's at the park with Dahlia. Number 6. She's a business mogul in the making. Venturing outside the screen and stage, Anne's quite the business-savvy maven herself. A co-founder and creative director of BLK Cosmetics, Anne has been pretty hands-on when it comes to making the brand come alive. She says that she really wanted to come up with her own brand that would reach out to her fellow Filipinas and would be something that is attainable for them. Aside from BLK, Anne has also delved into crafting her own activewear line with a brand named Recess. You go, Anne! Number 5. She's a big K-drama fan. At the end of the day, Anne is just like any other regular girl. A fan of shows such as Reply 1988, It's Okay to Not Be Okay, and Chicago Typewriter, Anne loves to binge these series, getting smitten with her favorite Korean actors on screen. And yes, one of them is definitely Goblin's Gong Yu. Number 4. She adores Audrey Hepburn. Out of the many people that inspire Anne, one of them is the iconic Audrey Hepburn. Often dressing up like her for production numbers, Anne admires the Hollywood actress so much that she's even joined auctions for items worn by Audrey herself. At the 2019 Famas Awards, she wore a vintage Givenchy silk bow that Audrey once wore. Anne paired it with a black dress that was, of course, reminiscent of Audrey's Breakfast at Tiffany's look. Talk about a fangirl! Number 3. She's a multi-awarded international actress. It would be a crime if someone of Anne's caliber went by unnoticed. The actress has been adored by many and has been known for selling out cinemas and bringing home trophies for her work. Winning her first Metro Manila Film Festival Award for Best Actress in 2008, Anne has been recognized by several award-giving bodies, which include the Filipino Academy of Movie Arts and Sciences and the Philippine Movie Press Club. She even got a nod from the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards in 2014. Number 2. She's dubbed as the multimedia star. 
If you thought Anne was a household name exclusively in the Philippines, think again. In 2019, she was named the number one influencer in the United Arab Emirates. Next, in December 2020, she made it to Forbes Asia's list of 100 digital artists, which honored talents across the Asia-Pacific region. Fellow artists on the list included Twice, Troy Sivan, and Blackpink. Given her passion for hosting, acting, and singing, Anne has earned the well-deserved nickname of Multimedia Star. Number 1. She thought she would grow up to be a lawyer. Anne may be one of the biggest stars in the Philippines, but she didn't always dream of a life in the spotlight. In fact, Anne thought she would follow in her father's footsteps and become a lawyer. Well, that didn't happen, obviously. If there was anything that Anne made apparent throughout her career, it's that her time in the spotlight is far from over. With 24 years of experience under her belt, we can't wait to see what she does next, whether as an actress, as a model, as a humanitarian, or even as a mom. No matter what she does or how she does it, she proves time and time again that a woman like her is indeed unstoppable.